My name is Daniel, 25 years old. Uh, I've grown up in Spring, Texas my entire life. I've been going to Faith Roots for about nine years, but I only really started following Jesus nine months ago. Most of my life was pursuing happiness. I saw money buy things, and when you get things, you get happiness. So it's like, okay, money's the, the goal, because with money, then all these things play out. Wasn't making any near amount of money I wanted to, wanted to make. Um, didn't feel accomplished. Didn't feel like there was anything I could hang my hat on. Um, so in return, I felt like a failure. So that put me on the path of seeking love in relationships, in romance. All I knew in relationships was, you know, you, you just do what makes you happy, right? Essentially, the joy I kept finding in a new person, it's just like a fleeting emotion. Just something that was a mirage that, you know, I could see in the distance and as you keep chasing it, you never arrive. I used alcohol to just drink away the pain. Um, when the day just became too much, I would just drink it away. But eventually, it took too much. It took too too much time to do, and I turned to pills. There's a, there's a gaping hole inside of you, and you can find a quick fix. But it just as quick as you get it, it goes away. Not really knowing where to turn because I had accepted Christ at nine, um, so I kind of had this false sense of security that. Well, I've got God, but I had no idea who he was. Um, here I am proclaiming him to be my Lord and Savior for 16 something years, but the truth of the matter was, I didn't know him. I didn't know I have a clue. I had come to the conclusion that like there was no way out and I, I, was, I couldn't keep lying. I was filled to the brim with lies. Lies about my drug addictions, lies about my past sexual history lies about stealing money from the business, just lies about having it together. You know, like it wasn't okay to be broken. That's what it seemed like to me. Like I don't get why anybody keeps living their life because it doesn't make sense. That darkness is like nothing else. You, you don't know who you are. I mean, you're lost. You're dying, and the worst part about it is you don't even know why. You think you know God, you know? And you got 24 years, and there's no, nothing to, to show for it. Nothing. It, it's a joke. I mean, it's all meaningless. I don't know how to explain it. All I know is something broke inside of me. My last Hail Mary was a cry to God. I didn't know what to pray about. I didn't know what to say. I was begging God to show me he was real. Just show me something, that he cared, that he loved me, that I was worth something to him. God laid something on my heart telling me, I, I know where you're at. Like, I, I know you, I, I know what's wrong. All I saw was Christ. All I saw was his death on the cross. That's really all I focused on. You know, was why did he die on the cross? And it comes down to one thing, it's love. He loves you, he loves me. That's where it, it finally clicked for me. I was like, wow, he, he loves me. The weight went away. That crushing weight that's like on your back to perform, to, to you know, succeed in life, to make a name for yourself, it all, go, it all went away. For me, the change, the transformation uh, was overnight. Uh, I was not the same person the next day. The best way I can describe it is I got a new heart. I've got a new heart and a new mind. I was totally transformed. There was a hope inside of me that had never been there before. There was a love for people that had never been there before. Um, the draw to abuse and use drugs and women, it was gone. It was, it was gone. It wasn't there anymore. Um, I felt no urge to chase that lifestyle anymore. I finally felt free where like, I didn't have to keep everything in anymore. I didn't have to hide anything. For me in my life, he's put me on the path of loving people from a sacrificial standpoint. And that set me on this journey of pursuing him. And as I've pursued him, I've just fallen more in love with him. I was dead in who I was, but my life began when I fixed my eyes on the cross.